Hi traders, you are about to see my worst trade ever <laughs> in my trading career. That happened today with mRNA. Now mRNA started with a big gap up, it's up 15% right now and as you can see it moved higher, pulled back, nice reversal and I'm about to go long. Uh, look at the highs, 149 and I will go long over 148.50 which is just about there and now and I am going long now. So I just bought 4,000 shares, that all happened like two hours ago and it's about to move over 149 which is the highs I was expecting it to move over the highs and it's just about to do so. Uh, here we go, we just moved 50 cents over the highs or so. So you know you always go long at the point where you expect a new high, you don't go long at the point where you um, go over the highs, uh, you expect a new high and you go long. Now as you can see it's starting to go sideways. Now I'm running this video uh, in 15 times as fast as it was, so you can see it's consolidating near the highs, it almost did not pull back down, still is looking great and again I'm trying to reflect back right now at what happened while I was trading. So as you can see it's holding near the highs, it's about to move to a new high and I think I should add another 4,000 shares because right now it looks amazingly well to me added. It just moved to a new high, the new high as you can see is $150, that's whole number. A lot of times stocks are being stopped by whole numbers, there's a lot of sellers at whole numbers, uh, usually they just bounce back and go through. Now traders just a quick request, if you like this video please give us a thumb up right here below because it will help our channel and help more people like you to watch these videos and hopefully you're enjoying it and learning something out of it. Now let's take a look at what happened to mRNA because it just did something I had no idea it's about to do. Look at this huge downside move just, just happening now. Where should have been my stop loss? Well actually my stop should have been under 145 and look at the numbers now, we're coming down to 141 and I'm down $60,000. So I should have been stopped several points higher. Now the thing is you never stop out before you see a pullback, you never ever stop out before you see a pullback. So I was right to hold here although I had a huge loser and that sometimes happens, that sometimes happens and wait until I see the first sign of a pullback. Now look at this pullback from the lows, I don't really know where it's going to take me. Now if I'll be lucky it's take, it will take me all the way back to the highs to green territory but I don't really know what's going on. Now as you can see it is moving higher, this stock is strong, everybody's looking at mRNA uh, lately, everybody's buying this stock lately, well will it actually get back to the highs or maybe I could just stop it now at a better price? Well the thing is the more it moves higher the more I feel like there's a good chance for me to uh, even have a winner here. Now I'm taking a look at the way it behaves and I look at this right nice consolidation, I'm thinking I should add now and I'm about to add another 8,000 shares and uh, right now I did. Now look at this consolidation here, it already proved to me it wants to go higher, it's moving slowly to the highs and I just decided well it came all the way down from the lows it's probably going to move over, over the highs. So I'm looking at the $150 mark right now hoping and expecting that it will indeed move over the highs. So until now I've done nothing wrong. I did not add to a losing trade, I did not average down my loss, I only added as long as it was over my purchase price and it looks like it's going to move to a new high. That's what you do when you add to a winning trade, not to a losing trade. Now take a look at the way it comes to the 150 mark and I'm about to add one, once more, once it moves over the whole number 150, it just did, I added. So now I have 20,000 shares and uh, it seemed to me like it should move over the highs because it has a fantastic technical formation, a long consolidation but I guess mRNA is thinking otherwise. mRNA is coming down from the highs and as you can see here it failed. It touched over 150, you can see that the highs is 150 and 14 cents, that's why I added once more, again I was adding to a winner. Now it's touching the 145 mark and once it bounced from the 145 mark I do have my technical reversal where I should have my technical stop. I had the same at 141 right over there and then it did well and went all the way back to the highs and I was back to green territory but now if it's going to come down under 145 that is my stop loss point, that is the point where I should move out. So take a look at the buyers if they're going to move under 145 which just happened, I'm down $127,000 and I just moved out of this failing trade. Now traders I'm trying to figure out what I did uh, right or what I did wrong. There's uh, several issues here we can discuss 
And I will be very, very happy if you write down in your comments uh, what you think I should have done. And uh, let's have a discussion about that. I will be happy to uh, answer your comments. And um, let's try and figure out uh, if you have any questions, uh, if you want to ask anything, if you think I did something right or I did something wrong, or how did I come to this uh, amazing uh, losing day. Now, I did have some winners, as you can see here. So the end result here is uh, $111,000 or so down. It's a big down day. Maybe my biggest ever. I'm not absolutely sure about that, but I think it is. So let's have a discussion in the comments right here below. And if you like this video, please give us a thumb up. Again, that will help our channel and help more people like you to enjoy some trading video and hopefully learn something out of it. Losing money is also a big part of becoming a trader. So thank you again. Give us a thumb up and I'll see you all tomorrow in the trading room.